What's up, everybody? And welcome to Buzzworthy TV. I know, I know. Y'all like, girl, first, you come out with one or two videos a week, and now you want to give us these three videos back to back. Yes, I'm giving y'all not one, not two, but three videos today. You want to know why? Because today, I just felt like getting on here and talking about all the mess that has been going on since last week okay and yes i did two separate videos because i just really wanted to give my thoughts on those separate topics and give them their own shine so that y'all could drop y'all opinions down in the comment section so if you guys haven't checked out my videos that i did about ti and tiny i just did a quick update about their show getting canceled and we also talked about nene leaks and how virtually her entire team has walked away from her so yeah don't go check out those videos don't forget to rate comment and subscribe you know welcome to the family so anyway y'all i know i am late i'm like over a week late but you guys love me anyway right i know you do okay so i want to sit here and talk to y'all about the wendy williams movie okay now again Anybody who knows me knows I have a love-hate relationship with Wendy Williams. Over the past few years, it has grown from admiration to, okay, it went from when I first heard about it, it was like, who is this crazy lady on the radio? To, oh, I like her hustle. To, girl, you get on my nerves. To, now I just have a lot of empathy and respect for her and I just want to talk about that so um, I want to talk about the movie I don't want to get into the movie per se because this is not a review a lot of you all who have seen it or who are going to see it have already seen it so we're not going to go and just go into the movie blow by blow but I did want to talk about what I felt about the movie and what I felt about the whole process in itself and where I feel like she is today. Now, the movie overall was awesome. Very entertaining. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. I saw a couple of them clips. And shout out to my girl, Sierra Payton. I hope she is watching this video. She played Wendy Woods and she played the heck out of Wendy Williams. But Sierra girl, Sierra girl, I ain't going to lie. Some of them clips that they was putting out before the movie started, it was giving me real SNL parody tease, okay? I was scared. I was real scared. And I had already told you. Excuse me, I had to fix my hair. I had already told you in your DMs and in your comment section that I was scared because Lifetime does not have a great track record. And then Wendy Williams as a producer with Lifetime, does not have a good track record, okay? You know, me and Wendy, we're on a good foot, but I still don't trust her, okay? When it comes to producing a movie. However, I was pleasantly surprised. The movie was very good. Sierra Payton acted her butt off. She definitely gave us Wendy Williams, honey, okay? Um, again, the movie was very entertaining. I felt as though... She touched on a lot within those two hours. She gave us what she could in those two hours. I felt as though she should have given us, like how Salt and Pepper did, they gave us a three-hour movie and a one-hour documentary. I think that would have suited the situation better because the movie went by so fast. Zoe was very entertaining, and I loved it. You know, and it's, and it's really... A testament to how well the movie was done because even though I'm saying that it was rushed I'm it's not taken away from the movie in itself like yeah it went fast but sometimes it ruins the movie and the thing is it didn't ruin the movie it just made it feel like we were missing some key points if you were a Wendy Williams fan like if you follow her from radio up until now you know that there's some things missing. You you know, you're like, why did she talk about this? Like, I want her to talk about this whole thing with her and Miss Jones. You know, it was a situation where it was a rumor that Kevin had put out a hit 
um, Miss Jones, and Miss Jones was another female DJ that Wendy Williams happened to be friends with. But I guess he felt like Miss Jones, who was also popular, wanted to get into the TV realm, and he couldn't have that because Wendy was only going to be the only TV star coming out of Hot 97. So, yeah, supposedly he had put a hit out on her. And Miss Jones, I watched the interview because she did her own little recap of the Wendy Williams movie just to talk about some stuff, about how it was a little inconsistencies in the movie, even though she said overall it was a good movie. She was just online just talking about some inconsistencies. And she did say that, yes, that was true. Though Wendy was not the ringleader, because they were friends. Kevin was behind everything. And I kind of, she, I believe she kind of knew, or if not knew, she knew later on. And she didn't know right then. So, yeah, Wendy has had a habit from what I'm learning from watching the movie and just watching people come forward who have watched the movie, who used to work for her. She's had a habit of covering for Kevin. Even this movie, to me, was a cover-up for Kevin. Yes, we saw how... You know, you he grew to love, you know, not grew to love her, but how in the beginning they were in love and he was her protector. You kind of, you really did see why they fell in love in the first place, which kudos for that because they're, in a relationship is not all bad. So I'm glad she demonstrated that. But what I wanted to see is I want to see him being more so a tyrant on the TV show only because... A lot of people had a lot of complaints, and he made a lot of people at that job's life miserable. And I really wanted to see that. I really wanted to see how he was acting at the radio station, how he was throwing his weight around before he even got to a TV show, how he was coming up to the radio station doing the most, and how he got banned from the radio station. You know, you talked about that in your documentary, but I just wish we had more time to talk about stuff like that. I want to talk about more about more of your interviews you had now Wendy I mean if I say Wendy Wendy Houston's interview was the most iconic but Wendy Williams everybody came to the Wendy Williams show if you wanted promotion and if you were in R&B and hip-hop in the 90s and the early 2000s you came to the Wendy Williams show whether you liked it or not and I wish we would have saw more of that I mean again she touched on it but I just wish we had more um, and I wish we would have saw more of Kevin being Kevin. I felt like she gave him, like Charlemagne said, when it came to Kevin, she kept it 50 instead of just telling all of it in regards to his controlling ways and how he used to belittle her. Like, we never really even saw him talking down to her in the movie. Not like how Charlemagne was saying. He was saying that, yeah, he was like, you're right. He would look out for her, but that was part of his manipulation. He would look out for her and say, don't nobody want her. Don't nobody care about her. I'm the only one that care about you. You a fat, ugly bee and all this other stuff. You know, really tearing down her self-esteem. And I'm like, it makes so much sense now of why she's had all this plastic surgery done. Um, her weight, her weight, being weight conscious comes from her parents. So she's dealt with a lot in terms of self-esteem, first from her parents, then from her husband. And, yeah, I just would have wished we could have saw more of that because, you know, this whole cheating thing, this constant cheating, continued to eat and eat at her self-esteem, and she got more and more plastic surgery. And I just wanted us to talk about that and see more of that. You know, it's just a lot that I just wish we could have talked about when it came to the movie. But the movie in itself was overall enjoyable. It deserved all the ratings that it received. It deserved all the great press it received. I'm proud of her. I want her to win. I really do because she's been through so much, you know, with the miscarriages, the toxic marriages, the been mistreated by men, you know, because of having low self-esteem. And wanted to have that husband and that family and trying to make it work. You know, a lot of people can relate to that. So, you know, kudos to her for being transparent in that level. And the documentary was very raw. And also, I'm proud of her on that. I mean, that documentary, as she stated, was filmed back in 2019, right when she was in the thick of it. And the fact that she let us see all of that, let us see in her still dealing with it yeah she was in the sober house and yeah she's divorced but she still was struggling she still was struggling with the end of her marriage she's still struggling with the fact that 
he not only cheated on her, but he had a baby on her. The fact that she struggled to have a baby, and you sat around here and just had a baby? Something that she struggled to have. So I just appreciate her just being so raw and transparent about that. I just wish that, again, since we had so much emphasis on Kevin in the movie, that, okay, let's switch it up for the documentary. Let's talk more about her radio days and things of that nature. Like, it should have been a balance. Like, if we're going to talk about Kevin in the movie, let's not talk about him so much in the documentary. If we're going to talk about him... If we're not going to talk about in the movie, if we're going to focus more on my career in the movie, let's talk about him in the document. It should have been, that way we could have got everything that we could have needed in regards to her life. If they could have just switched it up. Because I felt like it was more of a continuation or explanation of what we just saw in the movie. And it's like, Wendy, girl, I'm enjoying this. Now, I appreciate your transparency. But we just seen this. And I'm glad that you're giving us more details into what we just seen. But... We don't need that. So, yeah, to me, it would have been better if she switched up topics. That way, we could have got everything we needed. So, yeah, drop down in the comments of how y'all felt about Wendy Wills, the movie and the documentary. Um, I see her husband is out here opening up businesses. He got a barber shop in Florida. He about to open up an Italian restaurant. He's doing a soft opening, I guess. Um, Valentine's Day. Y'all, he got an Instagram page. This man, I guess he said, you know what? I've been in hiding. I've been laying low, you know, for three years now. Let me just peek my head out and see if, you know, it's safe to come out. No, Kevin, it's not safe to come out. Don't nobody, no, no nobody still like you, okay? You still persona non grata, okay? But anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think and put it down in the comments. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.